The weather outside is frightful, but my friends, we have crock pots, so we can put together some delicious crock pot soups for this winter season. I'm happy to share five, six, I lost count. To kick off our ground beef and coleslaw soup or stew or whatever you like to call it, we're starting with a large crock pot. In will go one pound of ground beef browned with onion and garlic. You wanna make your house smell like you are doing something, brown these up in a skillet, and then you don't have to do anything else. Your whole house will smell amazing. And then we're just gonna dump a bunch of ingredients in. So next up we have two cups of shredded coleslaw mix, pre-packaged mix. Yes, seriously, you don't have to do anything else. One bag of frozen corn, hallelujah, that I'm getting that out of my freezer. It might be a little freezer burnt, it'll be fine. I also like to live dangerously. One frozen bag of green beans. Make sure you throw some on the counter. And then toss those in too, because you did wipe off your counter. Four cups of spicy vegetable juice. I use V8, you can use whatever brand you find. Do any other brands even make that? I don't know. A 14 ounce can of tomatoes. I like to go big or go home, so I'm using a 28 ounce can. <laughs> For no other reason than this is what I have. One tibisps of Worcestershire sauce. That looks like about a tablespoon. One teaspoon of dried basil. I will eyeball that as I do most everything else. And about a half a teaspoon of pepper. We'll just give this a little, little drizzle like this. Plug it in, cook on low for, I don't know, Eight to 10 hours, high for four to five hours. I will check for salt later, but you don't know how the canned tomatoes are gonna react with the V8, right? So we wanna err on the side of caution and we can always add salt later. Make sure you have a loaf of like garlic bread or cheesy bread ready to serve alongside this. Ooh, my no need artisan bread, that would be amazing. See you in a few hours. If you like slow cookers and cooking with slow cookers, hook this video up with a thumbs up. Helps us out a bunch so other people can find the recipes as well. For this hot artichoke dip, I have this little baby crock pot I found at the thrift store, still in the box for like $3. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, everything will fit. So far, I have one chopped leek that I sauteed in a pan. You have to be careful when you wash leeks. I like to soak them in a bowl of cold water and let all the dirt fall to the bottom. They grow in uh, sand, essentially, really, really dirty. So make sure you give those a wash. You're gonna see dirt everywhere. They're just easier to wash when they're chopped instead of when they're whole. I have two cans of drained and roughly cut artichoke hearts. I did not rinse them, but I did drain them pretty well and just gave them a quick once through with my knife. I'm starting to feel like this definitely will not fit. <laughs> uh, I still have two cups of mayo to go and some cheese. Yikes. Okay, let's switch gears and we'll switch crock pots here. This crock pot's probably too big. This is a six quart, so I'm thinking a four quart's gonna be your size, but believe it or not, I don't have a four quart size. Nevertheless, we will continue on. One cup of chopped red bell pepper, two cups of your favorite mayo, one cup of Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna use the rest of this. And another one that I have in the fridge, just trying to use up everything I have. That's not quite a half. Doesn't it feel great to get these huge containers out of your fridge? I feel like I have accomplished something when I eliminate a condiment. Oh my goodness. And one cup of parm right there. One teaspoon of lemon pepper seasoning. Quick little stir and we will cook this on low for three to four hours just until everything is heated through. We're not really cooking much here. This is perfect for a party because you can set it up just a few hours before and then it will be hot during everybody's, you know, snacking at the party time frame. Hey, I'll see you in three hours. I don't know about you, but that looks delicious to me. And it smells delicious. I'm gonna stir these brown edges in a little bit. Oh, we did get a little hot right there. So we wanna top it with some Parmesan cheese now. Oh, dang. Okay, very steamy. 
I am going to top this with some Parmesan cheese right now, and I have some pita chips to eat with this, because in my opinion, that's the best way to do it. That looks amazing. Can confirm, very delicious. 10 out of 10 recommend. It is cold and dreary, so I am very excited about our mixed bean soup and ham. Ham and mixed bean. 15 bean soup, as my grandpa would call it. I'd say you've had enough. So in my six quart crock pot, I think it's a six, a six or a seven, I have a mix of two cups of beans that I soaked overnight, gave them a rinse this morning. This is a combo of small red beans, lima beans, garbanzo, and great northern beans. To this, I'm adding about one cup of chopped carrots and a cup and a half to two cups of chopped onions just because I like onions a lot. So I went ahead and did just kind of two small onions, whatever amount that happened to be. Also adding one ham steak that I cubed up, two bay leaves here that I will throw in. Six to eight cups of water, whatever you need to kind of cover everything. That was seven, that looks pretty good. The most important piece, let's do a teaspoon or so. I'm gonna eyeball it. I'm just gonna sprinkle it in like salt kind of, about a teaspoon. Make sure everything is mixed together here. If you have some split peas, you wanna add like a half a cup of those right now, you could do that. I couldn't find any, so I will leave those out. <coughs> just pepper sprayed myself in the face. <clears throat> Low eight to 10 hours or high four to five hours. Uh, make sure you taste for salt and pepper at the end. I'll see you in a few. For our steak and vegetable soup, I'm starting off with some stew meat cut into slices like this. A quick salt and pepper of all of these will be perfect. And this is an extra step. You don't have to do this step, but it's gonna add so much flavor. It would be a bummer if you didn't do this. So salt and pepper over all of this. And now I'm gonna do a drizzle of chili powder or chipotle peppers, uh, whichever you kind of have available, just like that. And a drizzle of flour. We're gonna sear these beautiful cuts of beef in a skillet before we put them in the crock pot. And that searing is gonna make it really, really delicious. Now my favorite application in the skillet is bacon fat. Of course, you don't have to use that. You can use any cooking fat that you have available. I have my seared meat. What is it about beef that just makes me so excited? One cup of chopped onion, one cup of chopped carrots. In those go. If you wanna add mushrooms, you can, but for me and my house, we will 86 the mushrooms and one bag of vegetable mix, mixed veggies going in just like that. Nice and frozen, nice and easy. And I tried to like dissolve some of my beef broth cubes and it looks weird. So ignore that, but that's all this is. Beef broth cubes in water. I'm gonna do as much as I need to kind of cover this, about half, kind of, kind of about like that. I'll save the rest for something else and a little drizzle of oregano. I have ground oregano here, a little bit of that on top, just like a so. We're gonna go on low for 10 to 12 hours or high for five to six. I'm gonna go high, cause that's the way I roll. I'm not even sorry. Grab your lid, I gotta find the lid. Ooh. There we go, I'll see you in five hours. In a large crock pot, we're going to put together a spicy sausage and Italian vegetable soup. Your sausage doesn't have to be spicy. I'm actually using a sweet one today and I'll be adding crushed red pepper flakes. So you could do a sweet sausage or a spicy, that's totally up to you. We'll first layer all of our veggies in this large crock pot. Coming in, I have one chopped large bulb of fennel, two and a half cups of chopped butternut squash. You could also use sweet potato. 
Um, whatever like winter squash you like. I happen to have butternut squash, so that's what I'm using. One large onion chopped and four cups of chopped kale. I was rinsing that, let me grab it. Okay, I did take the stems out and chop that pretty good. You can also use spinach, like a frozen spinach is fine. I just prefer the texture of kale once it's cooked. Spinach, in my opinion, tends to get a little slimy and kale is sturdier. One can of your favorite bean, you can use a kidney. I had their, these uh, berlotti beans, I think is what they are. If you can hear sizzling in the background, it's my sausage finishing up browning. You do want that cooked, one pound of sausage. And I have just a drizzle of crushed red pepper flakes because I'm not using a spicy sausage. That's probably half a teaspoon. Next up, I'm adding four cups of chicken broth. You can use the powdered stuff. You can use a better than bouillon. I just happen to have these uh, quart guys that I found on clearance. You'll want another one cup of white wine. Now, I don't have any white wine, so you can also just sub for more chicken broth, which is what I will do. I also have a half a teaspoon of this rubbed sage, a little sprinkle of that on top, and the sausage coming up last. And one pound of your cooked sausage, spicy or sweet, your call. That, my friends, is all there is. Easy peasy, rice and cheesy. And we'll cook on low for eight to 10 hours or high for four to five hours. Check back in and taste for salt. want those recipes, it will be the first link down below in the box. Thanks for cooking with me today. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.